I got interested in this when I was working on a ranch. I saw it done, it was kind of early in the uh, process. Ultrasounding was just kind of coming to the forefront. And uh, there was a school available in the, that you can go to. They, they have one once a year up in Iowa that you can go. You don't have to have any of the equipment yet, but you can go and train. You'll train on cattle, you'll do classroom, uh, classroom work. You'll learn the ins and outs and good, bad images, everything. And then you have to go through a certification process. You have to purchase your own equipment for that, uh, but you have to go through a test where they'll run uh, just a generic set of cattle through. They'll be numbered. You scan them one time, and then they, run, they change the back tags and run the same set of cattle through again. You're not allowed to take any notes as you're doing this. And what they'll do is measure, uh, your, they will compare your readings, your images from that animal when you do them twice. They're measuring your repeatability, because that's what's very important is just that we just continuously get the correct, the right images, because that's, uh, that seems to be the, the key to being successful with having, you know, the right numbers. Ultrasound Guideline Council has a website that give, gives you dates of where they're going to have the uh, certifications and where you can go to school. Uh, you can go, if you know somebody who does this, you might be trained with them. I know a lot of people that have trained with somebody else first. That's what I did, uh, and then got competent at it. And then I went through a certification. You have to go; they uh, have to go through certification at least. You have to pass at least two consecutive uh, certifications, and before you don't have to go back again. But then you have to do, you do through a uh, certification of Essentia. Uh, but what they do is at the labs, the UGC audits our image quality twice a year. Uh, the middle and the end of the year, they send, they because they're always judging. When we submit these images to the lab, they give a quality score to each one. They, it runs an average on you all year long, and you have to stay above a certain number uh, of uh, image quality, because if you drop below that, they'll put you on probation or they'll take away your certification. So there are, we're always being judged in this. Uh, no matter you know where you're at, your image qualities are gonna follow you, and so you wanna just be consistent and do the right thing, uh, get the good images all the time.